Hey everyone, so a lot of people have been asking me about catching trout with salt plastic bait. So in our past videos, uh, we've been doing a lot of um, fishing with bait, fishing with um, hot, hot lures like a, like a spoon or a spinner. But you can actually catch um, trout on soft plastics, on, on rubber bait. Um, typically, it's used for bass fishing, um, but something like a grub uh, can be used for bigger trout, like a like a bull trout or a big rainbow trout as well. So here we are on, at Ross Lake. There's a big school of um, bull trout in front of us. And I find this is a good place to do this tutorial to show you guys how to do it. So the way I've got it set up, and as usual, uh, this is a six pound test ultra light spinning setup. So the rod and reel, the spinning reel, it's a Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus 1000. And, uh, and I got a 10 pound test Power Pro uh, fish, fishing line on it, braided fishing line, so it's, there's no stretch, so you can feel every bite. And at the end of the line, I got a six pound test uh, Maxima Ultra Green model line, um, which which is one of my favorite model filament line. And this is, so this is just a typical drop shot rig. Um, I won't go into details on how to tie this. You can find lots of videos on this on YouTube. But basically the hook is sitting like that and then you have a, a weight at the bottom. So the weight sits on the bottom and this this bait, this soft plastic bait, the grub, will be sitting suspending about the foot of the butt, uh, of the bottom, and dangle like that. And there's different ways of fishing for these these um, with these baits. So let's show you guys how to do it. So basically, we're gonna cast this out first, and just let it sink to the bottom. You can slowly retrieve like what you do with a spoon and spinner if you want. Um, end up that little uh, twist, twisty tail on the bottom will, will work itself and you can catch fish, fish that way. But a good way to do this, another way, good way to fish in these guys is to let the sit on the bottom and jig a couple of times and retrieve and jig again, retrieve. And it's a, just a slow presentation to bring the bait back. Whereas a spoon, you have to constantly, oh, let's fish. <laughs> There you go, so works pretty well. <laughs> so yeah, so it, it's slow presentation, not like a spoon where, where you retrieving constantly. Um, by slowing this presentation down, you know, if the fish are pretty spooked, they're not willing to bite, you can kind of put that bait in front of them and just kind of dangle quite often um, until they commit to it. So yeah, so this fish grabbed the bait pretty solidly. We're gonna net this guy. It's a tiny, well not tiny, it's a, maybe a one half pound bull trout. Relatively small compared to some of the other fish that we've seen in here. Um, you can get fish up to five, six pounds in here. Uh, it's tangled up a little bit, so we're just gonna untie this and show it to you guys. Oh, actually, say too soon, it's, um, the hook is out quite easily. So, here it is. It's very, very feisty even though it's not that big. So let's take a look at it. Okay. So that is a nice little bull trout. And see if we can get a bigger one. All right. So let's cast it out again. So like I say, you can, you can retrieve this like what you do with a spoon and spinner and the, the, the grub will just be doing this all the way back. Um, but what we've been doing, just you cast out, let it sink to the bottom, let that weight sink, sink to the bottom, sit on the bottom, and your grub should be dangling a foot and a bit um, above the bottom where the fish are swimming around, actually. So it looks like a little sculpin, it looks like a little leech that's you know struggling, swimming around. And, and again, with well, sculpin, they don't usually swim around too much. So this kind of, it's a good imitation for these small fish. Oh, one traced it. <laughs> so like I said, another way of doing this, you can do a straight, slow retrieve. Um, you can just retrieve like that and the weight will be kind of bouncing on the bottom but you won't get snagged up because your hook is actually above the bottom, right? Just kind of slow retrieve like that. Um, sometimes that works pretty well too. The, 
I can see the bait is kind of swimming, not very nicely. Let's try again. And this, this way, the, the, with the retrieve, um, you're fishing for fish that, that would just kind of follow right behind it. Um, whereas by doing the twist, by doing the... Oh! Yeah, that was a reach on the retrieve. So by doing the twist and jig, um, that's kind of like fishing for more of, um, for ambush fish. Um, they'll come up and just snap the reactionary bite, whereas these ones the fish will fall right behind it and then commit it eventually. Um, yeah, this is a bigger fish. <laughs> Look at the size of that head. Whoa. <laughs> Taking some line out. So most of these fish, they average, you know, two to four pounds. Occasionally you get some six pounders and even bigger fish. Um, so with this setup, the rod is rated two to six pound test. Um, the line is rated up to six pound. Um, it can handle most of the fish. Just because the water still, there's no current. Um, you can play these, these fish pretty easily. Uh, just gotta take your time. Eventually they'll, they'll come in. It's a pretty big fish. Just looking at the size of the head, it's in the water is always a little deceiving, but we'll see when it comes up. Yeah, there he goes. Ah, it's a big fish. I would say probably around four pounds. What do you think? It's a nice fish. Beauty. And oh, does this guy go as well? There he goes. If you minimize the handling, um, they can swim away quite easily just like that. So yeah, so give drop shotting a go for trout and char. It's, um, it's definitely not just for bass fishing. Um, you can try these for, especially for bigger fish as well. And uh, if you need more information, you can always leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer your questions and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to visit our website at fishingwithrod.com for more information on in British Columbia. So until next time, good luck fishing.